What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Vision Uncle's YouTube channel and by the title you can tell that I won an ARG state championship uh, on Saturday playing this Mega Rayquaza Jolteon deck. Now if you watch the League Cup for Memphis you're going to notice that Justin played almost the same exact list and we did play the same list. Uh, so went back to back two weekends in a row. Um, Justin won a Memphis League Cup with this list and I won a, like I said, an ARG state championship this past weekend. Uh, the week before, I did play this same deck as well. Didn't have so great of draws. Um, let's see, I lost to Houndoom <clears throat> because I discarded all my energies and I just had a bad start. I barely lost to e Fright Night Evotaw. I, I think I ended with a 2 or 1 and he just top deck out of it. It was a very close match. And my other match was on stream. I just kind of played wrong. But next week, um, this week for the ARG State Championships, I'll go over it and talk about the deck just a little bit. And um, then today's Main Deck Monday video is going to be a Mega Rayquaza Jolteon, and we're going to update it for Sun and Moon, because I still think this is probably the best deck in standard format right now. I think it can beat almost anything. It probably struggles with Vest Queen, <coughs> Zep Striker, just the, probably the most, but still, you got some cute stuff around it to try to beat the deck, but let's go over my tournament report. So uh, round one, I play against a Volcania deck. Now this Volcania deck is very interesting. It doesn't play um, Hoopas, it doesn't play Shamans, so you can't actually have easy, easy Lysander targets. And uh, he played like four Fighting Fury Belts, so it was really hard to take out. I also I think I dead drew the first couple turns, <clears throat> which wasn't very good. And he played a Starmie, so every time you end him, he had a Starmie, and he played like um, Dive Balls and Ultra Balls. He just had like, turn one, he would have like three Volcanians out without using Hoopa or Shaman or anything. So he was like, I don't need these cards, I'm good. Um, so that was fine. Uh, so game one, he, he barely beat me yeah i can't remember exactly what i don't remember how that one played out but round two played against greninja we're just so fast we just set up we just start taking knockouts very quickly i think this one he didn't draw a i think he eventually did draw a greninja break but i just kept knocking him out with the sky fields and the puzzle times you could just reuse them over and over again he did play silent labs uh, instead of faded talents because obviously you need a way to shut down giratinas which we don't play in this list i think that's fine i think you still could beat it without giratina giratina does help but i don't know what i would cut for it for sure but you're just so fast. You just got a license around the balloons. That's a key thing as well. So we won that match. Uh, round three, I played against my f good friend, Zach Holtzman. As I said, last week we did lose to him. But this week, we just ran over him. We got like a turn one crazy start. Blew him up. I was having, We were having fun. If, uh, if anybody there at the ARG States saw us, they would definitely be like, what the heck are they doing? Like we were playing cards up and just having fun because I was just... Oh, it wasn't a good game for Zach. We just... Discard and just knocked out his uh, Hound Dooms very, very quickly over and over again. And he couldn't discard the energies. He actually switched his list up. He wasn't playing Karadot anymore. He was playing the Eradicate version, which I think does hurt him a little bit more against Mega Quasa because he can't discard as many energies like he could against us. But um, <clears throat> the next round, he would go on to beat a Mega Quasa player, but playing the Metal version instead, which I don't think the Metal version is that good. Like, it does give you an answer to Rainbow Road, but. Um, I don't know. You, with the middle version, you have an Ancient Rainbow Road with McGarren and stuff like that. But then you have these Pokemon that have like a heavy retreat, uh, have a, a, a retreat cost. While this one, you add in two Jolteons, which have free retreat. Um, and you have a way to attack, like just basic decks. So, I don't know. I still think that Jol the Lightning version is better. I just, just could be biased because I've played it. And uh, guys, first of all, hold on, hold on. I did not start this right. Uh, but guys, shout out to Stefan Erickson. Uh, he actually gave us the list, Stefan. Um, huge, like, really, really good friend of mine. I love him so much. Uh, gave me this list. He's a very nice player. Really, really good. Um, made worlds probably about a billion times, it seems like, by now. He cuts every single one. I think he's at 450-something championship points. He's almost at his world to fight. We keep trying to do interviews, but our time difference is so bad. He lives in a different country. Um, I think it's like a seven-hour difference or something like that five or seven hour difference so it's really hard to set up to do interviews and stuff like that but still shout out to him and shout out to max voltage gaming which is the uh the team he's owned make sure you check that down below in the links um they post a ton of deck lists not just for him but from a different uh, european players they're all really solid list every single one of them are really really good uh, um so yeah make sure you check that out shout out to Stefan one more time uh, this is his list he gave it to me and I mean, he won a league cup with it, and I was like, Man, I, I need that hot mega cause of Jolteon list. And he's like, Here you go. And I was like, Man, this list seems really good. I can't even think of anything to change. Um, I still don't know if I'll change anything or not after playing this weekend. It's, it seems like I didn't have a bad draws at all. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I have to step one more time. Make sure you check out back Max Vulture's game. Which, sorry, I had to say that from the start, but uh, links are down below in the description. Make sure you check those out. 
Um, but let's see. Next up. So we Zach. Next up was round number five. We're playing against a speed dark ride deck. He did play Perilous Cities. But, I mean, Perilous Cities don't re really matter too much because you get the puzzle times. You can reuse any two cards out of your discard pile. So that way you can grab uh, Skyfield, whatever. You can Skyfield, DCE, uh, Mega Turbo, whatever. It's just so good. Um, you're just so fast, too. And I think, like, the last turn of the game, he did, like, 210 HP because it's hard to hit 220 to knock out a Mega Quaza. And so there's a lot of energies in the field. I think you need 9. No, you need 10. Yeah, you need 10 because even the fighting three belts, so you need 10 energies on the field to one-shot a Mega Quaza. And we're just so fast, just able breaking out of nowhere, turn 1, turn 2. And like I said, P Skyfields usually do, I mean, P uh, Parallel Cities do usually hurt you, but we play 4 and the 4 puzzles. And you definitely just hold on to your puzzles forever. Don't ever try to discard them. Your goal is to, like, ultra ball your hand away, keeping a VS Seeker puzzles in your hand while just, like, dumping everything else. Like, literally, that's what I always did. If I had a DC VS Seeker puzzle, it, it, like, as my third, my second card to discard with an ultra ball, I would always discard the DC if I already had one attached because you could puzzle for it later on or VS Seeker for Skyler for a puzzle later on. So it was really, really good. Um, that's how I would say to play this deck. You always hold it to your puzzles and you always hold it to your VS Seeker. So you discard everything else. I don't care what it is because you can get it back with puzzles and Dragonites and. And Mega Turbos and everything like that. So it's really, really good. Um, so we beat that one. I think it was, yeah. I think it was a, an okay match for sure. I, I can't remember exactly what happened. Man, yesterday was a long, long day. Then the top. We got to a top four. <clears throat> top four, we play against the Volcanian guy. Uh, game one, he does win. But game two, I just get set up so fast. And game three, I just get up really fast. Game three, he doesn't even find any Pokemon. And this uh, game two and game three, game one was actually really close as well, better than the Swiss round, so that was good. Um, I think I had like one prize card left in him, and then he hit the cards he needed. Like I said, he had Starmie, so he can like discard any card to get any two fire energies out of his discard pile to easily win the game. Uh, game two, he I ended the two and it stuck. He couldn't find what he needed. And game number three, he just started bad and we won, so that was good. And in the finals, we play against a. Dark Ride, another speed Dark Ride deck. Well, luckily, the round before, he had took down a Dark Ride Dragons deck. And Dark Ride Dragons and, uh, is a bad matchup for us because he has Giratina and Salamence. So that's a really bad matchup. We do have Hex Maniac to shut down Giratina, but it's just so hard to fight all those dragons with our Mega or Quasit deck. But game one, he takes it. <clears throat> I think it's like very, it's like very, very close back and forth. Uh, I think I just, I don't know what I whiff. I can't remember exactly what happened. And that one, but game number two, I get a turn one Hex Maniac, and he goes for a hoop, puts it down the Hoopa, and I'm like, you can't use that Hoopa, and he scoops. I had, I set up way too quickly. I had a ton of Pokemon on the field. I was going to get a turn two Emma Break and knock out whatever I wanted the following turn. And game number three, we do the same thing. Um, game number one, we didn't have that like explosive at start, but game number three, we get like a turn one, like crazy doing numbers. Like my turn is probably like five to ten minutes long, just like using shamans and uh, like this is a bad thing about this deck. You play your turn takes too long, but once you're set up, you usually just win within three or four turns, and that's what happened. Uh, I took a knockout, took a knockout, and then he kept life center Mahoopa, and so we were just sitting there draw past him because when he life center Mahoopa, so he life center Mahoopa once and I DC to retreat because I already played all my puzzles. My flowstone was gone and my escape room was gone, so I had a. Uh, DC the active retreat, and that's when he realized it had a two retreat cost. I took a knockout, then he licensed the hoop back up, and um, <clears throat> I had one of the discard pile. Was it two in the discard pile? Two, three, four. Maybe it was just one of the discard pile. I can't remember exactly what happened. Um, no, he licensed it the first time, and I think I just like escaped out of it, if I remember correctly. And then the next time. is when I played the DC. Yeah, yeah, because I discarded DC early. I played escape to get the first hoop out. And then he lies in back up next turn. In my hand, I had Sycamore plus Skyfields. But I didn't want a Sycamore to just call my Skyfields away. So we're just draw pass and draw pass and draw pass. In, because now his, his plan is to license it my Hoopa if I retreat it. Because I don't have any puzzles left. And uh, I have one DC in the discard pile. Uh, one on a Mega Rayquaz and two left overall. So I just need those last two DC to retreat my Hoopa. And I'm just sitting there draw pass and draw pass, draw pass. Because if I Sycamore, I discard all my Skyfields and we lose. And finally, the second to last card is a DC, is a DC. so we attach a DC to Hoopa. We super ride shuffle back in some cards, back in our deck, just in case he does play something cute, like a Team Rocket's handiwork or something like that, crazy. And uh, we treat the Hoopa, take a knockout. Um, hit the DC off my prize cards. I had three prize cards left, one of them was a DCE. 
Uh, so we did luckily get that. If we did hit the DC on the price card, we, we I don't know if we would have lost. There was like maybe four minutes left in the game. I had like two or three via stickers in my hand, so I could have via sticker for N, played some stuff, uh, you know, maybe have gone a time. I don't know how that would happen. <clears throat> but luckily, I just hit the DC at the price cards. Uh, and then he, of course, licensed the Hoopa. I retrieved the Hoopa and won the game off that DC. And that's how I became an ARG state champion with this Mega Closet Jolteon deck. Like I said, this deck is really strong. I talked about a lot of stuff already. The Puzzle Times, letting it any two cards, ID Disc is really strong. Um, Jirachi, Stardust. This is how you're going to beat Giratina sometimes. You get Lightning and Energy at Stardust. And this is going to be uh, Rainbow Road as well because you could discard the DCs, making the Jirachi um, where they can't be hurt. So that's great. Let's see what else. Uh, Hoopa, two Hoopa for his Conjuring. Search for multiple EX Pokemon. Dragonite to get those Hoopas. Or whoever out of your discard pile, which is fantastic. MVP right there. So many times my opponent will bump my stadium, then I'll play Skyfield, Dragonite, for whatever I need. Put my bench up back to 8 and do 240 uh, just for funds. Uh, no, MVP is probably puzzle time. Uh, delinquent, I don't know. Every time I delinquent my opponent down to 0, it just didn't work out. They always top deck. So I don't know if Delinquent's going to be making it in the next set. One Hex Maniac MVP, because if you can play your hand down, well, not MVP, it's a really good card. If you can play your... Like everything down and hex turn one, you shut down your opponent so much. One light center went in, one Skyla. The Skyla's really cute because you get Skyla for a second puzzle in your hand and get 82 cards out of your discard pile. Um, it's just really good to like, if you play a bunch of stuff, you're like, all right, I need this one card, I can win. Like so many times I was Skyla for a Skyfield just so I can start doing the Shambo, the Shaman, the Shambo, Shambo, the Shaman uh, combo, which is really nice. You just ultra buff for Shamans and keep going. The party never stops because you play four Shamans, three Spear Links, of course, so you don't end your turn, four DC and four Lightning Energies. Everything else seems pretty uh, self-explanatory. We do play the one Escape Rover and one Floatstone. Kind of want to take a Floatstone because those Dragonites and Hoopas do have a head to your tree calls. Especially Dragonite, he's a three tree calls. He is a beast. Uh, Hoopa does have a two, so it's a little bit more manageable with the DCs. But you play the puzzles to so get back your escape ropes. Um, if your flustones on the field, obviously you can't get it back. But there we go, guys. That is my ARG State Championship port. Like I said, main deck Monday is going to be me reviewing this deck. Uh, for Sun and Moon, because I still think this is probably the best deck in Sun and Moon. It's just so fast and so consistent and just takes knockouts out of nowhere. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope we learned something new about Mega Quaza Jolteon. Uh, would I make any changes to the list? No. Uh, Shouts again to Stefan Erickson for giving me the list, hooking us up, and winning back-to-back -back weekends. Just won last weekend, and I won this weekend. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.